you guys as excited as I am? No. I mean, tomorrow we're going to be scoping out the world's largest teapot. I tell you, I'm just about beside myself. What do you guys think it's filled with sweetened or unsweetened tea? Well, there's only one way to find out, Chief. Oh, bud, man, I, I'd want to be sure and thank you for taking us out of town like this. I mean, I love Seth and those guys, but sometimes it's just nice to take a break. I'm glad you just get sick of it. Just sick of it! Well, it's no trouble at all, really. I mean, what's the point of going to see the world's largest teapot unless you had a couple of pals to go with you? Bud, can't we just drive through the night so we get there soon? Chappy, I already explained this to you. I was down at Gino's Pub late last night. Guy at the bar gave me the rest of his tokens, and I got on a wicked run playing Aerosmith's Revolution X. And uh, not only, not only did I beat New Order Nation, I saved Aerosmith's car, and they got to the gig. Unfortunately, I didn't get a wink of sleep though. And uh, you guys know the dangers of driving without driving without rest. And Trace's astigmatism doesn't allow him to drive at night. Yeah, my ophthalmologist forbids it, man. But I'm not tired at all, and I've got 20 negative 40 vision. Does that mean what most people can see 20 feet in front of them, you can see 40 feet behind you? Like an owl fighter pilot. Chappie, you know, according to West Virginia law, that you need to have at least legs with feet attached to the end of them to operate a motor vehicle within the state. Fiddlesticks! We've waited our whole lives to see the world's largest teapot. I don't see what difference another night's gonna make. I'll wait, but I don't have to like it. Hey, I'll tell you a story about another fella who didn't want to wait, Chappie. His name was Jesse Stevens, and he fell asleep driving down this very road, and he ramped his tercel across the median and into a busload of expectant mothers. All them unborn babies snuffed out because Jesse didn't want to take time to catch his 40 winks. I don't know, Trace. You sure it's not an urban legend? Hey, I heard the story from my driver's ed teacher, bud. Driver's ed. Mr. Saunders was many things, but he was not a liar. You guys are right. You're always right. Safety first. All right, guys, looks like this is the place. Get your shoes on. Stay the night at the uh, Elk Hotel. No, oh, but doesn't it look kind of dark? And scary. And old. And creepy. And haunted. And closed. I don't see what harm it could possibly do to knock on the door. We might be able to find a place for the night. Go check it out. too hard, the whole dang place might fall in on itself. He doesn't want that on his Carpenter, the proprietor of the Elk Hotel. Dark lobby you got here. Yes, we try to conserve power due to our lack of guests. Why do you have so few guests? Probably because the lights are always out. Hmm. So my two Friends and I were wondering if we could get a room tonight. A worthwhile thing to wonder about. Can we? I don't know. Can you? May we? I don't know. May you? Mm, this is strange. Strange? Or the first normal experience of your life? 
No, you're strange. Even a stranger is normal among the strange. I'm just trying to rent a room from you, dude. It's eight bucks a night. That's reasonable. Or is it? Don't start that again. No, really, the rooms are quite dilapidated. Uh, as long as there's a bed. There are beds, right? Technically. I'll take it. Room number 666. Just joshing. Room number four. Looks like this is our room, guys. Uh, bud? There's no door. So there isn't. Curious he gave you a key. Yeah, this isn't the nicest hotel room. <laughs> Boy, that's optimism. We just need to get some sleep so we can get up early tomorrow and get on the road. Check out my handle, it's really long. Wanna pour some out and take a sip? May I join you on your trip? You're right, Chappie. We'll just drop through the night. We'll get there sooner. <laughs> 